G'day legends, I hope you're all awesome. On today's video, I wanna ask the question, is the Boss SL20 great or garbage? This was part of their 20 series dual pedals, the DD20, the EQ20, the OD20. You've seen them all featured on this particular channel. I've owned quite a few of these pedals over the years. I've never owned the Chorus. I really wanna get my hands on one at some point and do a video like this. And they made some kind of wacky GK enabled ones, but I think out of all the ones that you can plug a standard guitar into, this might be the wackiest one. They bill it as an audio pattern generator. I think of it as a cross between an auto panner and a pattern tremolo, so you can do a lot of stuff and a lot of cool stereo image and choppy EDM style stuff. This kind of came out around the time, I guess, those particular sounds and that sort of fun production stuff that you could do on various synthesizers and plugins really had cemented its place in the mainstream of a lot of music. So this was used by a lot of people to do those kind of sounds live. You know, this to me exists in the post Roger Lynn adrenaline world. The adrenaline obviously had a bunch of other stuff in there, but a lot of people use the adrenaline for those kind of chopped up patterns. And the SL20 does that really, really well. So I'll just let you hear my dry sound in here. I've got the pedal on and you can see I've got the direct level on there. Then I'm gonna start on just mode one, pattern number one. I'm gonna play some chords and do some stuff and I might just kind of end up noodling along because I find this to be something that just makes you play. It makes you like play along with it and the patterns immediately kind of trigger me to want to start improvising and ultimately coming up with riffs, whether they're great or not, or whether it just sounds like a Savage Garden intro, you know, we'll soon find out. Maybe they're not mutually exclusive either. begins when you click over to stereo and you could kind of hear in there there's some filter effects there's some pitch effects there's a bunch of fun and unexpected things going on here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into random mode on here this will just kind of randomly pan the signal around in stereo and you could hear there that you've got these attack and duty controls as you turn duty down you're going to get kind of narrower segments and as you turn it up they're going to be wider sounding segments and the attack is basically controlling whether you have that kind of like soft slow attack into the pattern or whether you get this kind of resonant peaky thing happening on there you can also adjust the tempo over here with the tempo knob you can tap the tempo in or you can even set this up for momentary mode so you could just kind of kick it in for a cool rhythmic effect but i'm going to roll with this kind of mode where i'm mostly just hearing the pattern in there. I've got a little bit of direct signal in there. Uh, let's just have a listen to what this does in, what am I on? Am I in random mode? I am in random mode. Check this out. Make sure you're listening in stereo. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
There, but you can actually record a little loop and have it play back and then play over it which i find super cool on there so this is kind of wild this is definitely unlike anything else i think boss have ever released and like i said even though i'm just kind of playing open chords here i'm immediately getting things that sound more like pieces of music or songs i'll just have to kind of put them together and record them you do have midi sync on this to sync up the tempo as well if you wanted to use it with drum machines and synthesizers which i think would be super awesome the momentary mode is kind of cool on this because you know you could just kind of be chugging along and have the direct level all the way down and just have some kind of weird pattern set up and use it for like a single shot thing like this <laughs> There's so much going on, and this would combine really well with, say, rhythmic delay effects. So what I'm going to do is slap on a delay at the end of this. There'll be a little bit of dry signal blended in. I kind of like this 3D mode in here because that sounds pretty awesome. And I'm going to play it around with the attack and the duty in there. You probably notice that for something that on the surface seems like there's so many options, like there's so many different patterns in here and so many things you could do. Once you find something you like, well, for me anyway, I just kind of find that I sit here and play. and you know, for the purpose of this video, I'm meant to kind of be showcasing it. So in the back of my head, I'm going, oh, I got to tweak something, but I really just kind of want to find a few sounds in here and just sit on them and jam. Anyway, let's hear it with some delay. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm going to leave it there. Let me know your thoughts on these sounds in the comment section below. And if you own or have owned one of these pedals and what you used it for. Personally, I find it pretty inspiring. I wouldn't put this into my live rig or anything like that unless I absolutely needed a specific sound that I'd use this pedal for on a recording for a specific song. But, you know, just kind of sitting here and playing, it's making me play and it's making me just play things that I would normally do differently. And if that's all a piece of gear does, then it is probably worth whatever price you have paid for it if it's actually inspiring you to make music, you know? It's the opposite of, you know, a generic tube screamer kind of pedal that has maybe, you know, an extra knob on there or something like that, where you go, well, you know, I use a normal tube screamer all the time, but this is just a slightly better version. This is something from outer space and it totally changes the way you're gonna play the guitar. It would be awesome on keyboards or with a drum machine or as just kind of a utility tool. So yeah, that's the Boss SL20. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Great or garbage. And I will see you all next time. Take it easy. I might actually play a little bit more with this. See you later.